Hi everyone, I'm Daniela. And if you're like me, you're looking for an easy, quick weeknight meal that's still delicious and comforting. This is the recipe for you. This is super easy because we're only using one pan, there's less washing up, and we're cooking our chicken and our potatoes together. We're going to start with our marinade. Into a large bowl, add half a cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of dried oregano, two large cloves of garlic, grated, the zest and juice of two lemons. You need about a quarter cup of lemon juice, one tablespoon of sweet smoked paprika, a teaspoon of honey, or you can use sugar, but I prefer the naturalness of honey, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm using flaky salt and I just need to crush it up in my hand a little bit and give that a whisk until it all comes together. This may seem like a lot, but we're going to use it to marinate both our potatoes and our chicken. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Peel six medium potatoes and cut them into wedges. In my house, I always throw in a few extra because we really love leftover potatoes. Once all of your potatoes have been wedged, add them to your marinade. Give the potatoes a good toss in the marinade and transfer them to your baking dish. Add your chicken thighs into the remaining marinade. I'm using about one kilo, five to six chicken thighs. I'm using bone-in, skin-on chicken thighs because they're cheaper and I love the extra flavor it adds. But if you've got boneless, skinless, or you wanna use chicken breast, they'll work just as well. Of course, you can use as many as you like and just adjust the size of your pan. Give that chicken a good toss so that they're completely coated in all of that flavor. Then transfer your chicken thighs, making sure that some of the potato still pokes through. Pour the remaining marinade over the chicken and potatoes. Add about half a cup of chicken stock just around the edges. This will not only help the potatoes cook, but it will create a little bit of steam in the oven, keeping your chicken nice and juicy. Cut a lemon into slices. Nestle your slices of lemon in between your chicken and potatoes. They look beautiful and add a little bit of extra flavor. That's ready for the oven. This is going to cook for about 45 minutes or until a probe thermometer in your chicken reads 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. While that's cooking, I'm going to finely chop a handful of parsley. The parsley adds a lovely fresh flavor and a splash of color to the final dish, but it is optional. Give your potatoes a poke to make sure they're cooked and check the temperature of your chicken. Sprinkle your chopped parsley all over the top. I like to serve mine with some steamed long stem broccoli, but it goes great with just about any green vegetable. The chicken is so moist and the juice just drips out of it. And those potatoes have absorbed all of that beautiful flavor from the marinade. My husband loves this meal so much, he asks for it on a regular basis. And if you like this recipe, you're going to love my one pan chicken tomato tray bake. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe because I come out with a new video every week. See you next time.